And welcome back. So we did have a lot of sunshine once again today. Our warming trend did continue as temperatures were well above average once again. There's your sunny skies from our North Flat Tower Cam time lapse. Maybe a few more clouds into the evening, especially if we look into our northern counties. But we are staying mainly dry. So here's a look at the high temperatures today. 67 at North Platte and Valentine, 69 Broken Bow, 68 at Lexington, and into the Ogallala and Imperial area. High temperatures today into the mid to upper 60s as uh, temperatures continue their nice warm up. We were into the upper 30s by Friday, ro rose to the the 40s and 50s over the weekend now well into the 60s and the 70s are next over the next couple of days so North Platte is the cool spot at 30 degrees right now. Once you get out of North Platte in every direction, mainly into the mid to upper 30s, still not bad for this time of night and this time of year. There's a look at your winds, mainly from a westerly direction. Uh, wind speeds between 5 and 10 miles per hour. That westerly flow is going to be the story over the next few days, meaning that we're going to keep mild and dry conditions because of that. Just a few passing clouds from Cherry County north into the Valentine area. Everybody else has mainly clear skies across the region. If you take a look at the national map, you notice all the rain and snow is missing us off to the north. That's where the jet stream is right now. We're definitely in the warm air. The dual high pressure system definitely in charge. Winds mainly from a southerly or westerly direction. That's going to be how, it, uh, how the pattern will last over the next couple of days. The cool air and any rain or snow showers staying off to the north as this high pressure system to our south and west is just going to continue to strengthen, giving us that southerly flow, uh, warm conditions, and it will be sunny all the way through midweek until that cold front will get here around Thursday into the Friday time frame and change things. But as we make our way through the evening, maybe a few clouds in our northern and eastern counties, we're finally going to get to an area uh, where we will have really mild overnight periods. So over the weekend, we fell into the single digits and teens. This setup will uh, give us lows in the 30s to start off uh, your Tuesday and Wednesday morning with that nice westerly wind. Now, with that high starting off point, we make it all the way into the lower 70s as we go through the day on Tuesday. Still a lot of sunshine for your Tuesday evening. Temperatures falling back into the lower 40s, starting off in the lower 30s Wednesday morning. Still a good amount of sunshine and high temperatures into the low, maybe mid 70s as we go through the day on Wednesday. So we got this high to our south in charge. Another one is behind that that will take us through midweek as the moisture and the cool air does stay off to our north. It's this cold front. That'll be here to round out the week, which will give us a chance of some rain or snow showers and cool us down. Until then, across the country, the really cold air mass has moved into the Midwest and Northeast. The ridge in the jet stream is not only giving us the warm air, but keeping most of the rain across the country into the Pacific Northwest. And we'll have to wait until later on in the week for that to get here. Low temperatures tonight near 30 degrees, highs tomorrow near 73 and 76 for Wednesday, still a good amount of sunshine. Then Thursday at 55, partly cloudy, but back into the lower 60s on Friday. And we have a chance of some rain or snow through the weekend as temperatures fall into the mid to upper 30s and the breezy wind picks up from a northerly direction and cools us off. Melanie? Nice. And almost 80 on Wednesday, it looks like. Wow. Yeah, very warm for this time of year. Thank you, Justin. And during the month of February, many organizations focus on raising awareness on how heart disease claims the lives of many Americans. News 2's Marissa Burke was able to sit down with the specialist at Great Plains Health and learn more about why people should